Hey, how's everyone doing? Good. Uh, I tell you, it's uh, uh, great to be here, lads. Uh, mainly because just before uh, I came here to Galway, I was back at home living with my parents for a week. I don't know if any of you live with your parents, but uh, awful people. Uh, <laughs> terrible people, particularly my mother, right? Because she still does this thing where she knocks on my bedroom door after she's already opened it and is looking in, right? <laughs> Which completely changes the meaning of the knock, right? So instead of it being, may I enter your room, it's now, I can see you're wanking and I'm signalling for you to stop. <laughs> but let me tell you, it just makes me go all the harder. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking, it's a joke. Relax, it's a joke. It's my stepmother, she's into it. Uh, <laughs> she's like, faster, Big Mike, faster! <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm sorry. She refuses to call me Big Mike. Uh, even at Christmas, uh, no. I tell you, do you know what it is? My mother, she loves me. Do you know what I mean? My mother loves me, but she doesn't like me. Do you know what I mean? Like, recently I asked her to come to one of my comedy gigs and she said, actually, no, Mike, I won't. Because I've seen a clip of your comedy online and I didn't find it funny. I found it more sad than anything. And I said, well, while we're being honest, ma'am, you make a shit apple tart. Um, <laughs> and the truth is it's quite good, but to hit it where it fucking hurts. <laughs> right in the pastries, you know? Because uh, like all her confidence comes from pastries, you know? Well, that and the antidepressants. Uh, quite a sad woman, this is going on television. Hello, mother. Uh, <laughs> Hello, you know? Well, listen, she said we come from a farm in Kilkenny. You know what I mean? Like for anyone not from Ireland, like my father, is a farmer from 1950s Ireland, you know? So literally one of the founding members of Sadness, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this is my father at all times of the day. Just, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh. Like, technically he is alive, but he haunts our house. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he, he has spent so much time with cows that now they're the only fuckers who understand them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, he's like, uh, and we're like, what's he saying? And the cows are like, he's fucking hungry, man, all right? <laughs> Feed the old bastard, do you know what I mean? Like, so like, as soon as I could, I moved. Jesus, as soon as I got up, I moved to America for a few years. And I tell you, lads, Americans are nice people, but Jesus, they're very emotionally open, right? And that is hard for Irish people to take, okay? Like, I'd be leaving a party in America, and my friend would be like, oh, you leaving, Mike? I fucking love you, man. And I'd be like, eh. Yeah. I think you're a nice fella too, you know? I like it when we talk and stuff. Uh, I'm not telling you I love you, because you're a man and my father is still alive, you know? Because uh, my father had sensed that shit, you know? Like, even over the Atlantic, he'd be like, eh, something gay is going on, you know? Like, he'd be able to feel it. He has a close relationship with the wind, you know what I mean? Like, no, I swear to God, because in Ireland, you can't be that open growing up. You just can't do it. It's not the banter, you know? Like, I'm a sensitive person, but you can't show that growing up, because my brother will come up to me, or my friend will be like, ah, Michael, you stupid bastard. I can't be like, ah, Brennan, you've hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't do it. You have to be like, ah, Brennan, your mother's tits are dyslexic, or whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever. And then you're like, no offense, Mrs. Brennan, she'd be driving us, you know? Uh, <laughs> And she'd be like, none taken. She knows her tits can't read. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be weird if they could. You know what I mean? I finally understand Ulysses. You know what I mean? That wouldn't make sense, do you know? But my point being, lads, I've started seeing a therapist. Yes, I have, yes. He's a German therapist, which is great because he's like, tell me about your father, you know? And I'm like, why? What do you want to do with him? You know what I mean? Because I've seen a lot of German porn. You know what I mean? Like, so... And my father's allergic to leather, so I'm like, take it easy. Well, I'll tell you what's great about the German therapist is that he's no nonsense, right? He's no, not that an Irish therapist would be pro-nonsense, you know? Like you tell an Irish therapist you're depressed and he'd be like, but shouldn't we all sad? Whoa, whoa, rattling mug. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just diagnoses you as being shit crack, you know what I mean? <laughs> gives you a prescription, it just says more whiskey, less whinging, you know? <laughs> Demands to be paid in live chickens for some reason, you know what I mean? Because like, I don't know if you've ever looked back at your childhood and just thought, were my parents taking the piss? Do you know what I mean? Like, we grew up poor, do you know what I mean? Like, the closest thing to a foreign holiday we had growing up was the occasional Ferrero Rocher, you know? Like, <laughs> genuinely, we'd be eating it and we'd be like, so this is what Rome is like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Am I on a farm in Kilkenny or a chateau in Paris, you know? 
And then my mother would come in, she'd be like, Mike, those are for the visitors. I'd be like, ah, putain, c'est maman, you know? <laughs> Bonjour, maman, j'adore toi, you know what I mean? Look, I'll tell you how shit things were for us, right? I'm from a place called Kilkenny. And when we went on holidays, to get away from it all, we went to Wexford, right? <laughs> you hear people laughing, yeah! It's an objectively worse fucking place, right? <laughs> Like when we went on holidays, we would drive 45 minutes to a smaller house, worse weather, and Wexford people. <laughs> I'd be furious. And my mother tried to make it seem like a holiday. She was like, Mike, we're going to Wexford, pack your shorts. I'd be like, I can see you packing an umbrella, you witch, right? <laughs> Why do you want my legs to get wet? Well, I'll tell you how shit Wexford was, right? I started smoking in Wexford. I did. I was nine years old, okay? I was like, if this is what holidays are, I'm going to start shortening my life right fucking now. I remember saying to my brother, if we're back here again next year, we're doing heroin. We're doing heroin. He just looked at me, looked down at his arm. There was a belt already wrapped around it, right? He had a Scottish accent now for some reason. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I will tell you this, I'm just glad we didn't grow up with social media. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine how depressing that would have been. My friends would have been posting pictures of their holidays in Disneyland, Florida, sun splitting the stones. Hashtag Disney magic. Hashtag my parents love me, you know? <laughs> then just me posting a picture of me in the rain, pointing at a dead fox I found in Wexford, you know? <laughs> Hashtag finders keepers, you know? <laughs> Hashtag I envy the fox, you know what I mean? No likes, just one comment from the guards, are you okay? <laughs> Another comment from Fox Hunter 95. Nice. Uh, that's Ivy Michael Rice. Thank you very much. Yay!